Currently, we're busy looking at contingency tables, also known as two-way tables. Now, some time ago, somebody in one of my classes wanted to know how many boys and how many girls had blue eyes, brown eyes, and green eyes. Why? They wanted to know this. I have no idea. But they gazed into the eyes of everybody in their class and wrote down the findings okay and this is how they put their findings on a two-way table or a contingency table so let's just have a look at this so this young girl gazed into the eyes of 24 boys of which three had green eyes 16 had brown eyes and well we don't know how many had blue eyes she also gazed in some girls' eyes. We don't know how many girls she looked at, and we don't know how many of those girls had green eyes. But we do know that 15 had brown eyes and 2 had blue eyes. She know, we know that there was a total of 4 students who had green eyes. Okay, number 1. Complete the table above. Remember, to complete a two-way table or contingency table, we've got to find one, uh, a table with, or a row or a column where there's only one missing value. So let's have a look. Looking at my first row, I can see I've got one missing value. Okay? I've got 24 students um, or 24 boys who uh, we questioned or gazed into their eyes. 24, and of those, 3 had green eyes, of those, 16 had brown eyes, which leaves us with an answer of 5. So we know 5 of our boys had blue eyes. Right, this row we can't complete because there are 2 missing values. This row we can't complete because there are 3 missing values. So let's start looking at our columns. At this column here, we got five boys who got blue eyes, two girls. That gives me a total of seven of the students that we looked at had blue eyes. Over here, brown eyes, 16 boys had brown eyes, 15 girls had brown eyes, a total of 31 had brown eyes. Green eyes, three boys, how many girls? A total of four means one girl had green eyes. Now, we can't work out these totals looking at our horizontal uh, columns. Why? Because we've got two missing values. But we can fill in these values when we look across horizontally. Girls, 2 plus 15 gives me 17, plus 1 gives me 18. Total, 7 plus 31 is 38, plus 4 is going to give me 42. Let's check if everything's correct. When we add that up, 5, 16 is 21, 24. 2, 17, and 1, 18. 7, 31, and 4, 42. Let's add up downwards. 5 and 2, 7. 16 and 15, 31. 3 and 1, 4. 24 and 18 gives me 12, carry 1, 42. Because everything adds up horizontally and everything adds up vertically, guys, I've got this perfect. Now we can answer questions on it. The question now says, using this contingency table, determine the probability of a girl having blue eyes. Okay, how many girls are there? There are 18 girls. How many have blue eyes? We've got two. When I simplify, you got a one in nine chance of selecting a girl at random that will have blue eyes. Next question. What is the probability of a boy having brown eyes? How many boys were there? There were 24 boys. How many had brown eyes? 16 had brown eyes. Let's simplify that. Put it in your calculator. Push 16 over 24 and it will give you 2 over 3. So it means for every three boys, two of them will have brown eyes statistically okay doesn't necessarily mean that's 100 percent true but based on our facts we can say you know what there's two and three chances of a boy having brown eyes at our school okay next one what's the probability of a student 
having green eyes. Now, how many students are there? There are 42 students. How many have green eyes? Four. Four out of 42. When we simplify that, we're going to get two out of 21 chances of selecting a, a student at random that will have green eyes. Okay, interesting, isn't it? Let's have a look at another one. I once saw this question come up, um, or a similar one come up, and so I've made this question, and it really makes you think, hey? It really does. But if you can do this question, you can do any question on tables. In fact, I don't even think you'll get a question like this in the trick. But if you understand this, guys, contingency tables or two-way tables will be no problem to you. Let's have a look. In the 1980s, Rastafarian music became very popular. The Rastafarians also used the colors red, green, and yellow to identify themselves. Okay. In a group of 53 students, 20 preferred the color yellow, of which 14 were girls. 12 boys said green was a better color, which meant there were 15 in total that liked the color green. 14 girls liked red. With the use of this information above, Complete the table below. Okay, so here is my table. It's got nothing in it. All our other tables had some figures, and all we had to do was find the missing ones. This table's got nothing, but it has given us some information in the paragraph above. So let's have a look at it. In a group of 53 students, how many students? Total of students, 53. Take note, as I'm reading, I'm filling in. Okay. Then, um, 20 preferred the color yellow, of which 14 were girls. So, 20 students liked yellow. Of that, 14 of them were girls. 12 boys said green was a better color okay so 12 boys said green was a better color which meant there were 15 in total that liked the color green total of the green 15 14 girls liked red okay 14 girls liked our red color now we have to complete this table so let's fill in folk all the missing bits now remember to fill in the missing bits we've got to find um, either rows or columns that have only got one bit of information missing so let's look at it all right so looking at my rows i got three bits of information missing here i got two ah here i've only got one so let's fill it in We've got a total of 53, so we're going to say, right, Mr. Calculator, we need your assistance and guidance here. I've got a total of 53 students, of which 20 love yellow, 15 like green, which leaves me with a total of 18 that like red. Now, because I have this, I can work out how many boys like red. Well, if there are 14 girls and a total of 18, there must be four here who like the color red. Right, I still can't fill in this row. This row I've got two, so let's carry on working with columns. In this column, I've got 12 boys who like green. There are a total of 15, so there must be three girls who like the color green. Yellow, 14 girls out of a total of 20, which means there must be six boys that like yellow. Now we can add up. I've got six and four is 10 and 12. 22 boys were in the class that we questioned. How many girls? 14 and 14 is 28, 29, 30, 31 girls, giving me a total of 53. Let's check our figures right. 4, 16, 22. 14, uh, 28, 31, 17, and 38, 53, adding up, gives me 18, gives me 15, gives me 20, gives me 53. A totally different way of asking a question, isn't it? Very much so, and in fact, it can get quite 
complicated. Right, let's go back and let's look at another example. Okay, so here we go. We are asking boys and girls which takeaways do they enjoy? Do they like KFC, McDonald's or Subway? All right, and here's our contingency table. Fill in the missing bits. Again, folk, we can only fill in the bits when there's only one bit of information missing in each row or each column. That row, I've got my first row, three missing bits. Second row, only one missing bit. So we take out our calculator and we say, right, we know we questioned 93 girls in total. Of that, 61 loved Subway. Of that, 14 like KFC, which means 18 girls liked McDonald's. This row we can complete because there's only one missing. So when we look at that, we can see we had a total of 185 boys and girls we questioned, of which a total of 66 loved Subway. A total of 70 loved McDonald's, which means a total of 49 preferred KFC. Now we can fill in our columns. We got 49, 14 over here. So we say, right, Mr. Calculator, 49 minus my 14. And we know that's going to give us 35. So 35 boys liked KFC. Then McDonald's. How many boys like McDonald's? Well, of the 70 um, total who like McDonald's, only 18 were girls, which give us a total of 52 boys saying, oh, they love McDonald's. So how many total boys did we question? Well, we've got the 52, plus we'll add the 35 who like KFC, plus the 5 who like Subway, giving us a total of 92. So we add up to check our totals. 35, 52, and 5 is indeed 92. 14, 18, and 61 is indeed 93. 49, 70, and 66, 185. 35 and 14, 49. 52 and 18, 70. 5 and 61, 66. 92 and 93, 185. Right, our table is right. Now, let's read the questions. What is the probability of a student preferring KFC? Total number 49 out of a possible 185. Can we simplify that? Well, let's check. We got 49 over a possible uh, 185 students we questioned. It stays 49 over 85. We can't simplify that. McDonald's, we said there were 70 over a total of 185 students that we questioned. We can definitely simplify that one, and let's see how we do that. 70 over 185, and that gives me a total of 14 out of 37. Okay, so every 37 people we question, 14 of them would say they prefer McDonald's. Subway, 66 out of a possible 185. Can we simplify that down? 66 over 185 equals, can't simplify it, 66, 185. Now, what is the probability of a girl preferring KFC? Right, girls who prefer KFC, so there are a total of 93 girls. How many of them like KFC? 14. So you got a 14 in 93 chance of a girl preferring KFC. Let's have a look. We're skipping a few questions. What's the probability of a boy preferring McDonald's? So let's have a look. All our boys, we've got 92 boys. How many of them like McDonald's? 52 of them. And then we need to simplify it again. So I'm going to say 52 over possible 92 leaves me with 13 over 23. So it simplifies to 13 over 23. You get a contingency table in your exam, you celebrate, eh? Because it's so nice and it's so straightforward and it's wonderful to be able to fill it in. Okay, the whole section on probability, like I said, 
right in the beginning of the series. Probability as a teacher is one of my favorite sections because I know if my students work hard, they get high marks. Folks, that's it from me. We will see each other on the screen, I'm sure, in time to come. Until then, study hard, stay well, and cheers.